I'm on break, I'm on night shift, so I thought I'd shoot a video. Yeah, so I've been thinking about a few things, like some tips and a few things that we need to get to terms with. I'll say the first thing. We have to realize that this is like the lone road that we have to travel. Like we are going to be treated like this for the majority of our time here in this dimension in this matrix I'm not going to say you're not going to meet other empathic people or group of, of people who you can kind of you know see eye to eye with but generally speaking we have to they say the term carried across so basically just imagine when jesus was going to get he said when they had the last supper that one person was going to betray him he knew before he told them but he wasn't pleading like oh please don't betray me don't sell me out for money and even when he was being when he was going to get crucifi crucified he was carrying his cross and the people were like throwing eggs, throwing tomatoes, shouting abuse and Jesus just kept going. That is literally our existence. Even today, a lady a few doors down took one of my parcels and I went to collect my parcel and she's moved, just moved in and I don't know her from anywhere. So when I went to collect my parcel, I was like, Oh, thanks for collecting it. I'm this. I said my name because my name was on the parcel, and she just looked at me like, okay, and just took and gave it to me, shut the door in my face. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna say that was personal or or it was because of this or that because it could just be she was busy or, um, yeah, she just didn't want to tell me like introduce herself, but. But because people are like that in this modern time, this is how people are. But it's literally trying to devalue each other, get one up against each other, each other, compete, compare, contrast. And we're not built like that. We live in truth. We live in truth. Um, and we just try and improve. We always try to improve ourselves. We're not perfect, we make mistakes, we stumble, we fall, but Most High brings us back and we look like we haven't actually gone through anything, like we come back looking fresh as if nothing has happened. Um, so that's one of the very positive things. But one of the two, thi one of the things that we have to accept early is that we are traveling the road that's least traveled, the narrow path. There are not many people that want to try to live in truth want to try to not abuse other people, use people for energy, take from people, manipulate people. You know, just treat people in a way just for their own self-gratification. We try not to do that. Not to say that we never get into scenarios where we can lose our self-control and we're tipped over into the dark side because that happens but on a general on our day-to-day -day existence we actually try and do good do the right thing help people work hard grow learn stay in the word preaching the gospel doing all these things and the second thing is to remember that we are animals and we tend to be prey as the scapegoat, we are the person that is targeted. We are the ones that the predator comes after us. They learn all of our flaws. They try and pit pit, our, pit us against people, triangulate us, find out what our weaknesses, use them against us, try to abuse us, 
and then we react and they film us that's reactive abuse poke us until we make a get angry and react they film us sabotage us um they accuse us of things that they do 10 times worse than what we do so we are praise essentially to these people they are predators you know so we have to find a way to become less less um penetrable penetratable penetrable is that a word and we can do that by trying to not give these people too much information about our lives. I found myself even sometimes falling into this pat pattern where at work people would just be challenging me. Like they'll be asking me about, oh, where is this? Where do you, you know, about my life and my personal And I'm asking them, like, sometimes I'll answer back. And then when I answer back, I'll answer them about theirs and they will just seize up and they'll tell me reluctantly. So why are they asking me? This is the thing about these characters. They want to ask you for something or make you feel uncomfortable but when you give it back to them they can't handle it just start doing better in your job start learning the job start learning your craft join a new group join a new scene and it, give it time give it time and they start seeing you rising above them and they'll just try and pull you back try and sabotage you start colliding cussing you giving you dirty looks treating you bad so we have to carry that across we have to accept it we have to try our best to not get affected stay on our path keep improving keep going keep working out keep meditating keep getting knowledge and reading and just becoming the best version of ourselves no matter what we have to go through cut off all these fake family fake friends frenemies people competing secretly competing with you work colleagues don't give them no information about what you're doing. Do your side hustle. Keep it gully. Um, stay fly. You know, wear your crown. You know, self-improvement journey, healing journey, spiritual awakening journey, beautiful glow-up journey. Try your best to keep going and don't be discouraged. You know, they're, they're on assignment from Lucy to hold us back, to keep us separate from Most High, keep us not in our... Loving, uh, loving energy in our forgiving energy in our acceptance energy in our neutrality energy in our you know high vibrational frequency energy and that's where we need to be so we can give people unconditional love and we can heal the world